Hi there, I'm Kristen Levine, Wizard of Paws from the Pet Living blog, and it is May, National Pet Month, and I'm here to give you four tips to help you live happier and healthier with your pets so you can enjoy spending more time with them. So first of all, I want you to know that 70 million dogs across the US experience some form of anxiety. And this is usually triggered by things like thunderstorms or fireworks or being separated from us, or maybe even a trip to the vet. But the good news is there's a great new solution from PetMate called the Calms Pet Anxiety Relief System. And I love this because it's a drug-free, non-invasive way to treat canine anxiety. And the way it works is your pet wears this comfy mesh vest and there's a little device called the Calms Unit that uses NeuroSync technology, which, you know, simply put, just means using tones, vibration, and music together to fit into this vest. And when your pet feels the vibration and hears the music, it calms them down. And the way that it does that is because it's increasing blood flow to the brain. And at the same time, it's reducing that production of adrenaline that's causing them to be anxious in the first place. So great, great new solution for canine anxiety. Now, once my pet is calmed down, I like to give him a treat so that he knows that that's the behavior that, that he should have. And right now, I, have, I just started treating my dog, Chili, with Milk Bones Brand New Farmers Medley. I love them because they've got great ingredients that I can feel good about giving to him every day. For example, real protein like chicken, beef, lamb, or turkey, uh, vegetables, and it's got no artificial flavors or fillers or corn. And you can also find these in uh, grain-free or in whole grain varieties. And they come in four yummy flavors, Chili tells me. <laughs> All right, so for cat lovers, the most common complaint I hear from cat parents is the litter box. It's a huge problem with odors uh, for obvious reasons, but there are a couple of tips I have for you. Number one is of course to scoop it regularly every day if possible. Secondly, you can actually reduce the odor and the mess in your litter box simply by changing your litter. And I use world's best cat litter. I like it because it's made of 100% corn and they use a patented process that compresses those corn kernels into tiny little granules that are super duper absorbent. So once the litter, or I'm sorry, once the liquid hits the litter, it traps the odors and it forms tight clumps. So when you're scooping those clumps out of the box, they're not falling apart and, and then you're having to scoop out more of the clean litter just to get to the dirty litter. So world's best cat litter, uh, all natural, 99% dust free, and uh, you'll love it. And then last, but certainly not least, none of us really looks forward to dog bath time, neither us nor our, our dog. So you're gonna love this product. It's called the Bissell Bark Bath. And it is a faster, easier, less messy way to bathe your dog. It's also portable. So you can use it indoors, outdoors. You can take it on a trip with you if you're traveling with your pet. And it works very simply. You fill the one side with clean water and you also fill the little shampoo uh, container with the no rinse shampoo. And then you use this nozzle. The nozzle is specially designed to shoot water and no rinse shampoo onto your dog's skin, getting underneath the fur. So it's cleaning the skin and then very softly, it suctions away the dirt and that dirty water and also, it'll also suck away some of the loose hair on your dog, so you'll get a, a reduced shedding effect too. And all that dirty water will end up in the reservoir that you simply empty out. It works on dogs with any length of coat, so whether your dog's got short hair, long hair, or somewhere in between, uh, the Bissell Bark Bath will have a nozzle attachment that will be perfect for your dog's fur. And then you'll be left with a clean, fresh smelling pooch and a clean pooch is more fun to cuddle with, right? So that's it for my tips for National Pet Month this May. I hope you enjoyed it, and you can get more information at tipsontv.com.